There's a lot of people who view plastic surgery as a solution to dog attacks. So don't worry about being attacked. If you do get attacked, the doctors can make you just like new. Now we all know that that is not true. And in the case of Brooklyn Curry, she is getting closer to having a fully reconstructed lip. You know what? I can't actually move my upper lip. Now, as we all know, it's never going to look really or function like her real lip. It will never move and function like her real lip. In fact, in this video, she's talking about how she can't even move it. You know what? I can't actually move my upper lip. It's starting to really annoy me. I cannot drink out of a can without it spilling out my mouth. Watch. I'm, I don't, no, look at it. Look how it don't move. She's never going to be able to move it. And on top of that, it's brighter. It's a different color because she don't have no blood flow. It really annoy me. I cannot drink out of a can without it spilling out my mouth. Watch. After all these surgeries, she still would rather have her natural upper lip, the upper lip she had before the attack, okay? So this idea that all you have to do is get plastic surgery, don't worry about any damage that a dog can inflict to your face, that is a lie. Now, about nine months ago, I believe, Inside Edition, uploaded this video actually 11 months ago and I missed this video at least I believe I did check this out she was just starting her career as a model but Brooklyn Curry's life changed forever when her cousin's pit bull attacked her the dog bit off her upper lip he was like hanging off of my mouth we want to warn you the image after the accident is graphic Brooklyn snapped a photo looking at herself in the mirror you could see the fear in my eye just like oh my god that's what I look like like how do you fix this? Like, how do you fix this? I didn't realize he had taken off my whole lip. This was Brooklyn last year, just a few weeks after being released from the hospital. But look at her now. What an incredible transformation. Oh, stop. Yeah. From not having an upper lip at all, from it looking like Jaws took a chomp out of her face. But this is still unacceptable. Don't know woman want no upper lip like this. I think if you were to tell me a year ago today I'd look the way that I did, I wouldn't believe you. The 23-year-old has had six reconstructive surgeries to repair the damage. How does this feel? I can feel it. Dr. Nicholas Doe took skin and nerves from Brooklyn's arm and created a fully functional new upper lip. No, it's not fully functional. And at this stage right here, it didn't even look like a lip. And most people won't be able to afford to get this far that looked like a a butt cheek for an upper lip that don't look like no lip in plastic surgery it's uh, we can't exactly recreate what was missing but if we can mimic it enough it should be almost indistinguishable um to the general public no it won't be indistinguishable how dare you say that especially when the thing can't even move that draws people attention directly to her mouth. When you only see your bottom lip working and doing all the moving, like what in the world is up with your lip? Everybody's upper lip moves when they talk. Hers don't. It will never be indistinguishable. Stop that. It should be almost indistinguishable. Not even almost, man. I immediately gonna see somebody who's only their lower lip move. Um, to the general public. After each surgery, he would make a mold of Brooklyn's face to track her healing and know what needed to- Look at it. See how it's brighter than the rest of her face? Don't nobody want no pale top lip. And again, it looked like a butt cheek. Now, the surgeon is right now trying to reconstruct her lip so that, that, so that she has an actual lip. But as you saw, that thing still don't move be repaired next what has this journey been like for you just no well, that was the wrong question he should ask her what has this journey taught you see how they deliberately avoid asking that question that's the only thing you need to be asked right now what have you learned 
from this experience. And she is supposed to say every single time to stay away from dogs. Well, she took an oath to never do that. They will never do that. Even though that's the simple response that she should give. Be repaired next. What has this journey been like for you? Just having to look at myself in the mirror and tell myself and believe that. Tell myself, what I'm tell myself how stupid it was for me to go inside that home. I should have stayed in the car. I should have refused to go inside that home because that dog was in there. I should have practiced sinophobia and it would have saved my lip and my modeling career. I'm seeing is not the final product and just loving myself. Oh, uh, yeah, you heard what she said, right? When I look at myself, I just got to tell myself that this is not the final product. In other words, it'll look better. She's not satisfied with this butt lip. Having to look at myself in the mirror and tell myself and believe that what I'm seeing is not the final product and just loving myself regardless of how I look, just from the inside out. Brooklyn is- well, I'm sure you, I'm sure she does love herself. And that's what you're supposed to do. If you're still alive, you're going to develop uh, some type of love and appreciate. That's natural instinct. But she would rather have her real lip. Almost fully healed. No, her lip is not almost fully healed. And it will never be fully healed. It will just look better than not having a lip at all. Just from the inside out. Brooklyn is almost fully healed and loves smiling from ear to ear. And you haven't lost your smile? No. If haven't lost your smile. Now they're being delusional. In traditional nutter fashion. Yes, she has lost her smile. But listen, listen to what she says. You haven't lost your smile? No. You I've gained it. No. No. What are you saying? That, that you have a better looking smile now? or that it looks the same as it used to, it doesn't look the same. Okay, let's don't get up here and be dishonest. Be like, look, young people, stay away from dogs, avoid them at all costs. That's what I should have done. Especially seeing that you use your face to make money, that was your career, stay away from dogs. You only had a minute and 41 seconds. She did not once advise young people to stay away from these things. So I am. I've gained it. That is pathetic. That is counterproductive. That works against the evolution of human beings. You're supposed to share the lessons that you learned. The obvious lessons is that you should have never been around that worthless thing.